What's up guys? Today is a very special day because we are reviewing one of our all-time favorite wines. It's always in our house. It's less than $50 and the wine that we're reviewing is Austin, Austin Hope. Hope. Let's go. Damn, they really didn't want us to open this. Bug, that's towards me. Okay, let's start. Okay. Okay. Let's get down. Ah! Chloe, not the time, Ella. Okay. Okay. Do we need to make sure it's filming? So, this, the reason we love this wine so much is, first of all, the taste. Yeah, when, it's when, super easy to drink. When we first tried this wine. I'm tasting it. Oh, so freaking it's good. Really, it's sweet, but it's like not too sweet. It's really smooth and easy to drink. It, the reason I love this wine is because um, I love a, like a deep, dark red cat. Mm -hmm. And so when I drink this, I get that fullness, like yeah. it just warms your mouth up yeah, and it just feels like good. Yeah, but it's not like alcohol like it no, doesn't have it's that No, it's not like, like very acidic and yeah. it's just, it's, super it's so smooth. smooth and velvety. It just yeah. like goes. It's just like a solid cab to it's have. It's an amazing cab. That is, it's like a crowd pleaser. It's a nice wine that you can bring to someone's house. Like you're not trying to like seem, you know, like really. <laughs> cheap yeah. yeah or like you're trying too hard it's just like a good solid price point like bring it to your in-laws bring it to a party it's exactly. a crowd pleaser i would say that like everyone who we've had try this wine with us has, has been, loved it yeah, yeah they love it i would say it's kind of an ups it's not upscale but it's up there it, with with the flavors that i've tried in different cabs mm -hmm. where it tastes way more expensive than what it is. Right. So, uh, like, this is a forty to fifty dollar wine, but it tastes better than some wines that are one hundred fifty to two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Not that you would spend that much on a bottle of wine very often, but w w what I'm saying is, if you want to like take this as a nice gift, or you want to enjoy it as a occasion, like a birthday, yeah. or um, like if I'm gonna. It's just like a staple Cabernet it's bomb. to have. Yeah. It's just bomb. Okay, let's take talk about the flavors. There's a lot of berry, mm -hmm. a little bit of vanilla. See, what I like about it is I love a sweet cab, but this is not overwhelmingly sweet. Like if you like more of the sweeter I also think like what? You when you say sweet wine, I because every time we go wine tasting, you say like, oh, I need a sweet Okay, wine. not like they, they, <laughs> this, this is not like, sweet, but it's yeah, nice. It's, it, but it is on the sweeter end. I, it's not tart. Yeah, it's not tart. Okay, we could call it sweet. It's a good... It's we'll a, call it sweet. It's just on the edge of being a sweet wine. But it's pure. It's, it's so good. It's just... I just say it's bomb. Okay, let's talk about flavors. There's a little bit of like vanilla. Would you say like a little cherry? Like cherry, mm, berry. Like dark cherry, berry. That right. Vanilla a little bit. Mm. It's just so good. Yeah. It's so easy. It's just I mean, like an easy, you have, easy wine. You guys have to try this one. It's good. It's amazing. Yeah. This goes with any food. I mean, not any food. It goes with like a dark pasta or What's some... What's a dark pasta? Pasta. Primavera. What? A pasta from red sauce pasta, not like Alfredo. <laughs> These are the rules. We don't follow them, but we're gonna. A steak. A steak. Oh, bomb with a steak. But um, like, you could, you could with a chicken. Yeah. Why follow the rules? Have it with anything. Have but it just with enjoy, everything and anything enjoy. you want. It's yes. delicious. Or have it with nothing. Yeah. And, yeah. and so. This wine you can find at all major grocery stores. Um, I know for sure you can get it at Total Wine or Wine.com, which is how we order a lot of our wines. Especially in quarantine. Yeah, during the pandemic. We can't go anywhere. Um, but I've also seen it at certain grocery stores. Yeah, it's um, getting like more common. Yeah, and you can also get it from AustinHope.com. The winery itself is located in Paso Robles. Did I say that correctly? Yeah, why are you saying it so weird? Paso Robles? 
No, Paso Robles. Paso, <laughs> we'll, we'll listen to Lauren. I'm um, English second language. Okay. Uh, it's located in Paso Robles, and um, it's actually a, from a guy who's from the famous Camus winery. That's oh, a little That's a good something. fun fact. Cheers. Cheers. This is probably not how you properly pour one in, but <laughs> this will do the this job. This is how we're doing it. <gasps> okay, Bug, so what do you have for me with our okay. pour? Today in the news. Cheers first. Cheers. Okay, first. Joe Biden is the first president or president-elect to have a rescue dog in the White House. In honor of him, his name is Major, okay? In honor of him, his old shelter is having an inauguration. <laughs> what do you feel about that? Oh, Biden's dog is a German Shepherd. Yeah, and it's Major, and he has so another cute. one, but I don't remember his name. Dogs are a man's best friend. How could you not love a dog? I don't like cats. Dog. I'm sorry, I like some cats. Okay, you just like dogs more. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, second thing in the news. Sex and the City is coming back. Okay. <laughs> this is exciting for all my women out there. Cheers. The new season is called End Just Like That. And it's about all of the women now in their 50s. They talk about like love and relationship. <laughs> Every time I walk into the room, it's on the channel E that you watch. Yeah, because it's, it's a classic show. And you show. know what I do? I walk right back out of the room. <laughs> you just secretly love it. I hope you enjoy that Thank show. Thank you. I will. Great. I'm excited. I it. heard, though, that um, it's coming on HBO Max. Yeah. HBO oh. Max is like the new Netflix. One of the big things that I recently heard was that um, Warner Brothers is going to send the movies that are going into theaters to, to HBO, HBO Max. Max. So some of the movies I, I saw was Matrix 4. I haven't seen The Matrix. What? <laughs> Other ones that might be for you was um, Tom and Jerry, the little cartoon we watched when we were cartoons. kids. What? Tom and Jerry? <laughs> like, hate, this is a classic. Do you know me? I hate cartoons. Okay. It's pretty cool. I mean, we'll sign up for it. I think it's 15 bucks a month. We're not promoting HBO Max. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough followers yeah. to promote it. But let's not forget our beautiful weekend of sports we had. Um, if you don't know, it's the NFL playoffs. Bay Packers won today. I'm sad that the 49ers are not in the playoffs. We deserve to be with the best team in the NFL. This is going to be good with our DiGiorno 